Hello everyone, welcome back to Frag Chat with Smelly and Smurfy. So, it's hello from me and hello from the lovely Claire. It's great to be back again. So, uh, yeah, been a couple of weeks or more, I think three weeks at least since the last episode. So we've got plenty to talk about today. So uh, we're going to be doing some of our favourite summer fragrances and numerous other stuff that's uh, exciting coming up. So, without, first, further, without ado. further ado, scent of the night, Claire, what are you wearing tonight? I'm wearing your fragrance. Ah. So I'm wearing your latest acquisition, Jean Barbatos, Artisan Pure. Ah, yes. And I have to say, the opening yeah. is stunning. It's good, isn't it? It is unrivaled. It's so interesting. Citrusy, yet some kind of green. Oh, yeah. Kind of almost minty. Yes. And... Oh my god, it's exhilarating. It isn't it? Vibrant and But how many times have I sprayed it? You keep spraying the opening, yeah, because that's what you love best. Because what I'm finding is it dries down very, very quickly to a cedar sawdust kind of thing, which is still really nice, but the opening is what's grabbing my... Right. I love it. So first impression's good, but first you, impression's you, it opens excellent. up very citrusy and fresh. I just wish that opening would last longer. But we we don't the, the dry down doesn't the dry suck down's either. Very nice. It does change quite a bit. But that skin. opening yeah. is really amazing. Okay, and I've done a first impressions video on that one that was I think my last video, probably by the time I upload this one. And uh yeah, equally mm. early stages, but we both mm. love that one. So that's artisan pure and for men theoretically, but works well on you, doesn't it? Very uses, yeah. I think. My one is um by man from Dolce and Gabbana, the vintage gem, kind of sandalwood, lavender. Uh, artemisia uh, or wormwood, sort of powdery, f musky, fresh, clean, a little bit sweet too. The way I described it is that if you just washed with a really posh soap and then applied a really nice thick body lotion, mm. it just smells very clean, fresh and musky. By man, Dolce Gabbana 1997, extremely hard to get now but if you can uh, for a decent price snap it up straight away. Okay so that was Scent of the Nights, and uh, th we, so we've done Artisan Pure, and now we're going to talk about some under the, slightly under the radar, or less talked about, summer picks, for, uh, kind of for men and or unisex. Just great smells. I uh, actually, would yeah, say pretty... they're all unisex. One might come across, one of mine might come across a bit too floral for the uh, average man. Because my channel is a sausage party. That's why, yes, I'm, that's I'm why I like to come along. Well, anyone's welcome to my sausage <laughs> party. Yeah, ladies are welcome. Uh, so, uh, but yeah, I think any of these could probably be worn by a man, as could any smell. But uh, mm -hmm. yeah, quite a bit bit of a unisex uh, vibe going on here. So let's go with one from you and then one from me. So you okay, first. Right, I'm going to start with this one. Um, it's called The Infidels are by Agonist. And this is gorgeous. I'll just do a little spray here straight on my skin because I love it so much. To me it's citrusy, powdery, incensey, peppery, head shop, hedonistic, mm. but it's got that freshness from the citrus. Yes it has, but it's, mm. this is not your stereotypical summertime no, freshie, no, is it? No, so you're quite, you, you're being quite inventive in your interpretation of a summer scent, but what, what, what is it that makes it summery for you? For me, what makes it summery is the freshness of the citrus is. Okay. And probably the incense kind of lends it a bit Definitely of freshness Definitely has that as well. incense exoticism, though, doesn't it? And yeah. makes it kind of zing and, and ping off your skin. Okay. But there's I loads, do really like there's that, a yeah. ton of depth to it. There's vanilla in there. I mean, all the notes are listed It's got pink peppercorn. The yeah, they have a nice style of listing it's all the notes on the so bottom. so many things going on in here. It's not even worth mentioning. You just need to know that it smells head choppy, citrusy, Powdery, fresh, hedonistic. That's it, really. Really interesting choice it. for summer. That does have a bit of an exotic summery yeah. summer holiday. Summer holidays can mean going somewhere exotic. Yeah. So it doesn't have to just mean that you smell of lemons or an early portofino, does well, it? No, summer I mean, or we can virgin all, island water. We can all pick a freshie very easily, yeah. and it smells slightly similar to many other freshies. True. I wanted to pick something that stands out okay. and is different. I like it, good. This uh, next one is just more in the stereotypical <laughs> freshy mode, but it's not one we hear about on YouTube, hardly ever. And that's uh, Guerlain's Cologne Im Eau de Cologne Imperial. Okay, so this was made way back in 1853 uh, by Pierre Pas 
Pierre-Francois Pascal Guerlain, and I believe it was originally apparently made for the wife of the Emperor Napoleon III of France. So mm. let's, I think we've mentioned it before on the channel, yeah. but let's reappraise. Now I smelt the dry down on Dan's hand earlier, and I didn't know what it was. It didn't smell like a typical cologne. I smelt florals. Yeah. Really nice, subtle florals and muskiness. Yeah. Like a jasmine, white floral kind of thing. But at the moment, I'm getting a zingy, zesty cologne. It's often compared to 4711. Yeah. And I think it's very much in that 4711 Neroli Portofino mm. camp. Uh, but yeah, it, it's got real bright citrus. Some people say the pith of the yeah, orange, this, the white stuff this, in I'm between the, the skin. skin. And the, like, you know, when you yeah. get the skin of a. A fruit and you're trying to open it that's and exactly yeah i think that's all the juice of the actual skin yeah, that, pings out at you it's that which is great bitter bitter fresh yes almost astringent yeah but in a kind yeah. of a good way mm. but as you say later on there's there's some lovely florals in there so yeah. not the best longevity it's an eau de cologne not a completely appalling though in my experience real real natural high quality smell so a great alternative to things like 4711 or Neroli Portofino and you can pick that up one one up for pretty reasonable prices mm. online so Eau de Cologne nice. Imperial it's a good cologne choice yeah. if you're looking for a cologne that's worth considering not the obvious choice but yeah. a really good one so back yeah. to you Claire okay okay so this is the one I think might not necessarily suit all men, if we're looking at it as a unisex mm -hmm. fragrance, only because there's quite a lot of floral in there. So this is Baccio di Velluto from Brigantia Perfumes. There is Ylang Ylang and Sandalwood and Ambergris. It's a very yellow floral fragrance. Brigantia yeah. Perfumes, as ba Baccio di Velluto. Yeah, which okay. means velvet kiss in Italian. Ah. I haven't had a velvet kiss in a while. Um, I'll put the is link. Is that a thing? What is that? I don't know. Maybe you should show Imagine me later. Imagine it would be. Oh, see what I can do. <laughs> um, I... I'm so. Out of... <laughs> uh, I'll put the links to their website in the description because uh, it's they're not the most well known no, company, no, but you... it's well worth checking out. Actually, can... I really like this one too. You can only get them in the UK, unfortunately, at the moment. Oh, that's that it's is really beautiful. Nice. There's yeah. a lot of vanilla in there as well. It's very much a yellow floral with vanilla and some is kind of salty fresh jasmine sort of thing yeah something like that really yeah. i think nice. there is jasmine yeah. actually that's beautiful it is very gorgeous delicate. it is really gorgeous it's almost like a warm sand feel to that as well yeah. like imagine the sun heating up the sand it's very summery yeah. but not just citrus mm. is the florals and how and do you the, feel yeah. about the unisex of the unisex most men there? will feel that it leans a little bit feminine uh would you wear it I would definitely wear it, but for for, for men who who don't want to go anywhere if you don't over do the floral. line into to, to unisex femininity, a lot of people won't feel comfortable. Mm. I would. Most people smelling it would is that a man's or woman's? It's a, but it's a woman's fragrance. Yes, yeah. but I really love it, and I would wear it. Yeah, I think it's gorgeous. It's so under the radar, and it's a shame that it's not available apart from the UK. But uh, hopefully, maybe the that... perfume is called Catherine Rowan. Hopefully, she can find a way to make it. It's very difficult, actually. For a perfumer to get fragrances out of the UK, it's yeah. a, an absolute ball ache. To send stuff outside, we seem to have some rather yeah. uh, annoying laws, which is a real shame. Now, uh, we better do drink of the night quickly because some people do like that. So, I think we hardly need ask you, Claire, but what is your drink of the night? Uh, Grimbergen. <laughs> That's a Belgian ale. <laughs> but I think you're drinking vodka and oh, yes. it's Coke Zero. Russian standard vodka with Coke Zero. How is it going down, right? Lovely. Lovely. And I'm actually drinking a uh, Stara Praman uh, Czech Lager. So good alternative to things like Pilsner Urkel or the original Czechoslovakian Budvar. Uh, and these Czech ones have a little bit more flavour to them than some of the standard European lagers. So really good. And uh, nice head retention there. We like a bit of head retention. I do. Good. Look at that. So that's a good sign of high quality actually. Head retention. Yes. You know, if you, if you pour a glass of Budweiser, Within a couple of minutes, there will just be the yellow stuff. Yeah. But there's a nice white froth on that. So someone can hold the head. I'm just moving swiftly on from this. No, what's next? Right, uh, is next. it my turn? Yes, your mm. turn, your turn. Summer picks, summer picks. Right, again, I'm kind of more like, yeah, that's what I expect a summer fragrance in a summer fragrance list to be. But this one is the lesser talked about one from Creed, Neroli Sauvage. 
think it was a mid 90s release, 93, 94. <laughs> oh. Performance, not the best. I'm doing my top 10 summer fragrances list soon, so watch out for that. This kind of would have been an honorable mention. Love the smell. Performance isn't amazing, but the smell is, to me, exquisite. But what do you think, Claire? Uh, oh. It's, it's you, very Creed. Ah. It, you don't mean that in a good way. Mm. I really like Neroni mm. Sauvage. What's... It's got that aquatic feel that they have, that yeah. fake amber green note that they oh. put in there. Allegedly. They obviously wouldn't call it fake, that out, but yeah. let's, <laughs> let's be fair, it's probably not real amber The amber green accord that Creed so used, yeah. got that, um, like you get in Invictus or... In Invictus? Come on, you can't compare it to yeah, Invictus. Yeah, I can if I want. Well, you can. Like you get yeah, in you Invictus do. or Cool Water, it's got that fake synthetic uh -huh. seaside note. I mean, it's quite Does subtle, it? to be fair. Yeah. It's quite subtle, it's not too in your face. And then a lovely, oh, a, a lovely citrusy, slightly neroli like opening. Okay. But from experience, I do recall that it doesn't last brilliantly well. Okay. And my the tight bitch inside <laughs> me does not condone spending that sort of money okay. on a fragrance that doesn't last that long. All right. That's it. Um, I yeah, I do agree that the put the, the performance mm, isn't massive, uh, but I I really find the smell really exquisite and nice. Mm -hmm. But it's okay. it's a little bit subtle and delicate, so um, maybe the wow factor isn't there. But I, I, as with the previous one, really nice and refreshing. Maybe they would have been also rounds in my top ten summer because, as you say, they're, they're light, they're delicate, and maybe mm. they're lacking a little bit of oomph. Yeah. But they're they're beautiful to me. Back to. You. Ah, right. now for something completely different. Yes. So, we've given you fresh. Now let's give you... Summer doesn't have to mean just fresh no. smells. Let's give you the epitome of summer. What does summer conjure up to you? Uh, lonely August days when all my friends have gone on holiday with their family <laughs> and I'm, I'm like 14 and there's no one to play football with. Just sat in uh, alone in my bedroom Okay, I will stop leave that. It there, stop it there. All right. <laughs> it's bad, it's not so, a good memory. If you no. have a life, mm. then what summer should conjure up for you is a beautiful suntan lotion smell. Ah. But let's add to that. Have you got a strip? Oh. Oh, sweetie. Yes. Let's add to that. You're going to some... tell them what this is in a minute? Are you, you trying I? to eke shall out I? this suspense? Shall I? I think they could see it. No, but they. <laughs> uh oh, the cat. So this is Suntan Glam from SP Parfums. I really love this one. Right, this is one of your big favourites. Yes, it is absolutely... The one that really... Sorry, yeah. It's amazing. It's a perfume it is good. It is that got really me good. onto SP Parfums. SP um, Parfums, Suntan Glam, Perfumier Sven Pritzkele, a German uh, artisan perfumer. So this gives you that beautiful frangipani kind of suntan oh, lotion just... smell bit of coconut but it's smoky and there's yeah. an amber and there's depth and it's almost like a dirty sex note in there like he called it a dirty dirty mono accord is what he calls it yes and then what we got and say. i was gonna say it's like you're shagging in the sand dunes right. covered in suntan lotion it's like a sexy musky hot skin smell yeah yeah with the suntan lotion, there is a with little the bit coconut, of, with the hot sand, with the sea. But a little bit of the, 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 the sweat of the day that's not, yeah. not sort of nasty, dirty sweat, but you may in a healthy kind yeah, of way, yeah, yeah. a little bit radiant, glistening and skin that, that distant, your pores are exuding. A distant fire as well, huh? the smoke, the yeah. benzoin. It is absolutely stunning. It's strong, it's so strong. It's very strong, yeah. One spray is all Was that Miguel Matos, that's the, 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 the co-conspirator on, on that yes, one with him, so yeah. that the famous perfume writer and critic uh, Miguel Matos yeah. was involved in the, the conception of that one. Yes. I agree, it's really good. It's got great performance. It's not your typical smell. It's got that suntan lotion thing and this this kind yeah. of Yeah, It's musky... not your standard freshy. No. So you don't apply it because you want to feel fresh and clean. Not exactly, no. 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 It's not, it doesn't smell unclean, but it, it has it, a hint it of... It towards unclean. It has a hint of sensualness that could be a tiny bit yeah. dirty. But what a great yeah. perfume just to conjure summer, whether you're wearing it in summer yeah. or whether you're wearing it in midwinter and you just fucking long for that summer heat. 
Sorry, did I just say fucking? Well, there, there goes the sponsorship that's deal. The, Never mind. That's what it's that perfume fine. does to me. That's all right. No, that's really good. I, I think yeah, it's a really good description, and I'm also very taken with that one. Mm. So that's the, I've got just got one more left, yep. and that's my one. And this is, in a way, slightly the same, but perhaps the safer. This is like the innocent sa the, version. The, the innocent, safe mm. version of the same thing, but still very lovely, which is um, Guerlain's Terracotta. And it's all, this is Claire's bottle, and thanks to her that I've discovered this one. And this is, uh, of course, Thierry Vassa's creation from somewhere three, four, five years ago. Uh, and yeah. uh, there, there's a line of makeup, isn't there, called Terracotta. Yeah, so um, they do a bronzer and they also have some creams. Anything sun related it has this scent. Yeah. And then they've created a perfume to match. And he said it was the allure of the sun in a bottle. Mm. So I think there are some citrus notes, tiare flower. Um, I think there's quite a lot of honey, florals in there. Maybe yang lang. Yeah, maybe mm. coconut, suntan lotion type smell. Really, really beautiful. It conjures up the image of a summer holiday, perfect for mm. spraying on sun-kissed skin yeah. after a day in the sun. There is citrus, but mainly there's it's more about florals and some more exotic yeah. kind of it's overtones kind of, to this one. It's mainly about smelling a bit like sun, the best suntan lotion. Yeah. In fact, let's just spray a teeny yes. bit somewhere uh, on a random bit of paper to run out of other things. Can't so, not, you can't not love it. It is a happy scent. Yeah. It's a really happy scent. Oh, it's beautiful. It's so nice. So yes, the bit bit like suntan glam, a tiny bit, but the, the safe version. This is kind of fresher, yep. sharper, more orangey. That's yeah. got a real orange blossom, orangey smell. I think orange blossom, yeah. Mm. Very much aimed at women, but we think a man who's a perfumista, yeah. it's, it's not You're that. You're happy to wear it. No big deal. Yeah, I've, I've worn it to work. Mm. Yeah, no big deal for a man if you're into fragrances to wear that. Uh, and well, you know, reasonably priced. So that's Terracotta Guerlain. So those were our slightly less obvious summer picks that yeah. you might want to check out. Uh, and I'm sure we'll be, I'll be going to be doing a top 10 summer fragrances for men and you might do one too. Yeah, or, I might do or some kind of male and female summer one. clickbait kind of... <laughs> Got to be done, hasn't it? <laughs> Look out for those coming up soon on our channel. Okay, so those are our summer picks. So we're now going to move on to the well, staying with SP Parfums. We wanted to highlight ah, yes. one of their most recent releases, which is it's called Nowhere Fast, and this is again with Miguel Matos. So it is a collaboration, and it's kind of about matches, which sounds a bit strange, but it's about I black and red matches. Very weird description of this one, yeah. Mm. And it's a, it was a, an exhibition, an art exhibition. Yeah, sorry, um, we've run out of things to spray on. <laughs> bit primitive, but okay, yeah. So it's really a, it's very much an artistic fragrance, kind of like some of the zoologists. Not necessarily for everyone's taste. It's a little bit out there, but you can buy it from the website. Very, I find very smoky. Mm. What did they, 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 uh, you have a little oh, sniff? I'll, I'll read some of the things. There was a very oh rubber. Yeah. They said burnt rubber, rubber yeah, and or burnt that. matches have been mentioned. Flames, Whoa, smoke, coal. There. Their description said, or was one of the descriptions, maybe for Grantica, says something about hot bodies in movement, leather jackets, <laughs> disturbing and intense, sulphurous, carnal. Some of the notes include rose, jasmine, tuberose, hedione, lang lang, cassis, raspberry. Amber, patchouli, tonka, and I think cardamom. I don't pick out any I, of those notes oh. apart from the, the original stuff, the um, rubber and the matches. I get that thing that's in the air but when you you you, you, you strike a match. There's a sweetness in there. There's a there's a pleasant sweetness in there. I don't know. I, from what you've said, you think oh, it's going to be so avant-garde. It's mm. just going to be a work of art that you can't wear. But it, it's actually a very pleasant smell, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it is a, a bit pungent. Bit intriguing. More than mm, that's and nice. You would you would go one spray only. It is so strong. Yeah, it I does. Did, I have tried it on skin, and it it one little tiny spray dominated oh, really? everything. I like. There is just a tiny hint of oh, did you leave the gas on? Yeah, isn't there? yeah. Which is kind of weird, but <laughs> yeah, it's it burnt tarmac or something. Yeah, or, burnt rubber. Yeah, it really has got. It, I mean, credit to for, for capturing that. Almost cannabis smell, oh, you know, right. that weed. Okay, do you think? Yeah, a little bit of, um, like you smell a bag of weed. Yeah, right, maybe. Put your nose in a bag of I've weed. I've never been if, near a bag of if, weed, Claire. I would be <laughs> mixing those kind of 
uh, social milieus. No, neither do I, okay. but I do recall a friend once told me how that smells. So I have smelled it on, on yeah, people it, passing by, yeah, and I, I, there is, yeah, I can see what you mean, yeah. It's not entirely unpleasant, but it, now I've thought of that, I feel like if I wore it, everyone oh. would think I, I've, I'm smelling of weed. Right. So it's quite a challenging intrigue. Yeah. It, it's different. It's definitely different. You, want, you, it's want a pleasant to like, smell. you need to like the really out there stuff. Yeah. To seek that out. But it, yeah. It's definitely in your artisan niche mm. world of perme perfume category, uh, as is Suntan Glam. But probably even suntan more so that is, one, isn't no, it? No, Suntan Glam is a lot more accessible, a lot more wearable. Yeah. I agree. Uh, that is just a step too far for the average I think so perf if you just want to smell good I don't think you need to explore that <laughs> but if you are really into fragrances and you like to smell everything that's out there and you really like your weird stuff yeah then you do need to smell that because that's really weird agreed I quite liked it yeah yeah and yeah great Let's interesting move on. SP Parfums very intriguing mm -hmm. house I think the next thing then is what we got up to a few weeks ago, which, which was uh, we met a great, a new friend from the fragrance community, Yay. who is Thomas from the channel Ouch One One O. How did that meeting come about? I've forgotten now. So, um, what happened was you contacted him. I got in him. touch. Yeah, I got in touch with Thomas because we love him. I love his channel. You love his channel, mm -hmm. and we were going to go to London anyway. I've been subscribed since. Way before yeah, I started my channel. If you don't channel. subscribe yep. to Ouch 110, you really should. Yeah. He his honest honest reviews that just tell you how the fragrance smells with no bullshit. Yeah. And brilliant. And he's got Very such passionate. a lovely personality that comes out in his videos. Yeah. Anyway, I got in touch and said, look, we're, we're coming to London. We kind of wanna. Um, we'd love to meet you if you can. He was working in. His well, this shop. is the key point. He works yeah. in. He works in Bloom in London. Bloom Perfumery, Covent Garden, London. Mm. So we went down to see him. He was very nice. He was he was at work, so he, you know he couldn't just socialise. But he was really, really he was brilliant at showing professional and friendly at the same time. Fabulous fragrances. Yeah, and they've got a, a really great range. Mm. We'll maybe do a little bit more of an in-depth feature on what they've got. Yeah. They've got zoologists. They've got Arquiste. They've got Fadon. Uh, all kinds of really you know intricate. Uh, Perfumo. Yeah. Um, uh, who are the ones who do slow explosion and all that? Imaginary um, authors. Yeah. All kind. Uh, Etat Libre d'Orange shows, you know, from and they've the got a range of. They even had a really cheap range. I can't remember what they were called yeah, now, but a strange Russian brand. Yeah, was that it? Which we didn't think was very good. But um, oh, should, should I not say that? <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> other stuff that's brilliant. Really so, great range of yeah. cheap to a very very high end. Like a really, if you're a perfume uh, fan. A brilliant place to go. You could and visit. spend two hours there, and yep. the time would just fly like that. And they sell samples for very reasonable, yep. very very reasonable prices for for, for small two mil Which or whatever. Is so samples. good because you had real fun. You never know when you're smelling so much stuff in one go. Yeah. You can't make a decision then and no. there. You have to take a little sample away, and they make it easy and yeah. It's brilliant. They do actually, yeah. And well, and more importantly than that, though, well, as importantly, it, we we had the chance because he, he said he'd go for a quick drink with us afterwards. We had a great Yay! chat with, didn't we? And a good laugh and plenty of fragcom gossip that we can't tell you any of. Yes. Uh, but he was, you know, really, really nice and fun. And we hope we'll see him again soon. Yes. So, so we've uh, got a little uh, clip which we can put in. Uh huh. Oh yes, here's our little clip of when we were in the shop. Run VT. <laughs> <laughs> Hello everyone, so here we are in Bloom Perfumery in Covent Garden in London. It's me and Smurfy Girlie and the fabulous Thomas from the channel Ouch 110. Hello. And we've had a really great time sniffing some great stuff, which we're going to be telling you about some of them, I think, of the, the ones we really liked uh, coming up in today's episode. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. <laughs> And that was it by the magic of television. So, um, yeah, the great day out, and we went for a little drink afterwards. And uh, it, more than a little drink. I know. Well, to be fair. Thank God, one of us said we'll have to go home now. But next time we'll get make he sure. Like to wind as Thomas. Yeah. <laughs> as, as do we. So yeah, <laughs> next time I think it could get properly messy. Yeah. So uh, we look forward to that definitely. Uh, so that was yeah, that was really great to meet Thomas, and he's done a really good video reach recently, uh, which was going to be our video of the week, mm. which was his take on fade on. Uh, perfumes where he's given us a really good rundown on on that house on the line of Faden, which is a perfumer 
Piegio and he's done the eau de toilettes from that line which is a very simplistic line and he just talks us through a lot of those fragrances right. and he showed us a few of those at the time didn't he? Uh, yeah, and he, he did. And the great thing is that he, he is very knowledgeable. Mm. So uh, if you want to check out a, a good, concise rundown of that house, that video would be a great place to go from someone who, who lives with them and works with them, well, doesn't mm. live with them, but works Almost with those fragrances does, you know. every day and, yeah. and sells them and knows them inside out. So definitely check out that one if you're a fan or interested in Fade On. Finally then, uh, we're going to do Pan Art London's latest stuff. <gasps> So Panna London, uh, a house based in England, as you probably would guess from the name. Panna uh, London? And, How uh, did you guess I think that? they do shirts and things that is their main yeah. thing. But they've got quite a nice uh, fragrance line, including stuff like Italian citrus, which I really like, velvet oud, some real gourmands that you like, uh, yeah. pineapple I love scents, gourmantic uh, orange and yes. uh, pink champagne truffle. That's the one a lot of people go so on about. So they sent yeah. us a couple of samples in this cute little box. Yep. And I've, not I've tried smelled them, them, but you haven't. So okay. let's go for it. So we're going to go first of all with 24K citrus. So 24K suggesting 24 carat. Okay. So you're Better be good then. expecting a really Expensive. rich, a really rich exotic kind of citrus scent, maybe. But it's not that. No, oh. that's what I thought as well. What does it it's remind you of? of? See if you say the same as me. Um. Oh, uh, I don't know, is it a bit like Terre d'Hermes or Dunhill yes. Icon? I said it, to me, it reminds me of Terre d'Hermes. Yeah. Almost, is that what you said? Yeah, that's exactly what I it's think. It's really nice, but it's that kind of citrus. Yeah, dirty it, it's, orange. Um, to me, I smell a lot of vetiver. Mm. Mm. I smell vetiver and orange, maybe mandarin. It's nice though. Uh, yeah, it's not exactly like Terre d'Hermes, but it's in the same ballpark. Yeah, maybe a bit more fresh. Yeah, maybe, like maybe uh, more citrus. Uh, uh, Terre d'Hermes, Otre, fresh, maybe. But different. I like that. There is a sweetness. There's a bit of sweetness in there which isn't in Terre d'Hermes. Like a. Almost, That's actually pretty good. I like Almost that. like yeah. a, a vanilla or something. Yeah, it's, it's got... So, whereas Terre d'Hermes is bitter citrus and earthy vetiver, mm -hmm. there's like an added component of something a bit sweeter that rounds it all off and smooths it all out. I like that, yeah. First imp just yeah. first impression. Yeah, yeah. 24K citrus from Panna London, who have done some others that have had a little bit of uh, talk in the frag comp. Yeah. So, uh, first impression is good. Next one. Uh, and the next one is... This, this one, one is called... Branded pear. So branded, not as in like you've burnt your brand on them, but as in you've. Uh, would you when you when you. Um, oh, like branding, like a cattle yeah, brand. Yeah, not like that. Burn. Oh, it's brandy. Brandy. Like you um oh. you have pears and you poach them in brandy. Oh right, okay. So it's brandied. Brandied. Brandied pears. pears. So you've poached your pears in brandy. It does smell brandy. like pears. I feel like there's a really natural pear smell, like you've just cut it, into a, a yeah. ripe pear. It really literally smells like a, a it, when you eat yeah. a pear. Because often people mention a pear note, but it's quite it buried be within other... It could a Yeah, but note, that like really smells... A sweet, I, which I like actually, yeah. is a pear drop note, a sweet pear drop note. Yeah, very popular but note. But this has got a, a smell exactly like yeah. you've just cut into a fresh ripe pear quite really ripe really, like it's really gone yeah. quite soft and yeah, it's got like that texture of a texture pear of that's it, more like... soft than an apple but it can be a, a, a nice pear you like a can nice be pear, a, don't you? one of the best things in life Do yeah you like my pear <laughs> they had any pears <laughs> um <laughs> yes i i, I do <laughs> and i like i do and i like the um this one a lot. yeah really really natural smelling and what i noticed in the dry down it kind of you get a little bit of a soapiness as well i don't really get the alcohol that no i wouldn't have picked up on the brandy would suggest at all if that's but, what are you sure that's what they mean yeah yeah brandied sorry to doubt you but no, yeah, that's okay. just checking i get it yeah so that needs further exploration. I'm not entirely sure how I feel about that one. Okay. It wasn't quite what I think I prefer a more synthetic pair rather than such well. a natural pair. <laughs> so do well many men <laughs> feel the opposite, but that's uh, <laughs> you know 
Whichever kind of pair you like, uh, there's probably one out there for you. <laughs> but we, I like that, but I'm not sure it's something I'd necessarily rush out to buy to wear at no. this point in time. <laughs> I think we should leave it there. Yeah, I think we'll leave it there at That's, the pair. Okay, thanks ever so much for joining us. Let us know what you thought about any of the subjects covered in the video. Uh, and, uh, we, yeah, we look forward to your comments. We'll, we'll, we'll try and answer as many of, the, of them as we can and let us know of stuff you want to put in the next episode. We get Sweetie's really just back there. In the background, look. She hasn't really appeared in this one. There's Anything Sweetie. to say, madam? Here she goes. <laughs> on that note on cue <laughs> good night everyone have a, a lovely rest of your day evening or afternoon see you next time see you later bye bye